What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol IRNT for IronNet Inc. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. This, of course, will be an update. We covered this one just yesterday, looking for the breakout over 23 to take us higher and up into blue sky territories. That has obviously happened on today's trading session. It was all punctuated as well by really solid volume down below, so you should have more confidence in this move as opposed to less confidence. But what if you're not already long? Where is the next potential entry here? Let's take a look at the 30 minute intraday perspective to see what's going on with the range, what happened intraday, and is there any obvious buy points? So for now, what we'll notice is that, and what I'll just say is that if you're watching this early out of the gates, you'll remember that this halted early on in the morning. So please be aware if this does see, you know, really, you know, huge momentum continuation to the upside, it is at risk for being a halt victim. And when something halts, you never really know where it's going to open up. So please be aware of that risk if you do decide to trade it on a crazy, uh, you know, momentum move to the upside, which is frenzied and could, you know, be susceptible to halting essentially. So be aware of that risk. But in terms of a breakout point, right, what are we seeing with the structure that's formed? Well, certainly just resistance right here around this 3170 mark. And obviously we've closed above that and uh, we're currently trading way above that in the after hours. But uh, this brings me to my next point, because this is the breakout area, I wanted to note that and then go ahead and turn on our extended hour session and talk about our gap rules. Where is the potential entry here for your long? So clearly opening on a gap up, that's, you know, no arguments there. Let's just say for the sake of today's video that the overnight high will be here around 44.50 and that the opening print will be somewhere around 43.55. Again, a lot can change between now and 9.30, but this will give us a general framework that we can use for trading this come the bell tomorrow at 9.30. So uh, I'm just going to use this 30 minute because I do think it'll be easier to do here. If we open here fail to take out the overnight high and trade back down through the open, that opens up the door, no pun intended here, uh, for the gap and trap scenario, which is a move back down towards today's high. I would argue don't pay attention to the gap fill technically to the exact high, but rather that breakout point, which is why I wanted to mention it, that uh, 3150, right? So that would be that area we just discussed. From there, that's where you start looking for hammer candles, you start looking for indecision candles, basically anything that would make you question, is this gap and trap over? Can we get the gap fill reversal, flip long over the highs and get back up into whatever structure we put in on the way down with the ultimate target just being the overnight high, right? That would be the scenario for the safest buy, in my opinion. Now, the flip side of this coin is the fact that we could get the gap and go. I'm sure that's the one a lot more people are rooting for. So it would look like this. Obviously, if we open here, consolidate in this overnight range without really, you know, retracing through the open too, too far, what you would look for would just be a break up and over the uh, overnight high, which is the all time high at this point in time for blue sky levels. And on something that's now trading above 40, we'll say, uh, I would be just looking at 50 cent marks, whole dollars, $2, 50 cent marks, $5 marks as nice round numbers that could act as psychological resistance. I mean, it just makes sense, right? That if we scrunch this up, I'm sure a lot of people are eyeballing $50, right? It's just a nice round number. It makes sense that you could see some people take profit at that area. So to use a trail stop higher, don't get shaken out for no reason. Don't just bail early, wait for that really to really trigger and look for maybe 50 and or higher if there's a large momentum move to the upside. So those are my thoughts here. It's really going to depend on what happens with the gap up. Is it a gap and trap or is it a gap and go? But you know the area where I would be you know, more comfortable looking for a pullback buy that was as discussed at 3153 to me. That is the more optimal scenario. So you're not buying essentially the highs up here and at risk for a deeper pullback, right? You don't want to get involved on the wrong side of that trade. So those are my thoughts on IronNet. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the update, let me know down below in the description or in the comments section, excuse me there, or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.